Governor Little's Coronavirus Financial Advisory Committee approved using $150 million of CARES Act money to pay for deficiencies in the state's education budget and to help families having to pay out money of their own that they didn't plan to use for their kids to go to school from home. Representative Melissa Wintrow told us yesterday it was approved with flying colors. One of the committee members who didn't approve it was Lieutenant Governor Janice McGeehan. She couldn't vote for it or against it because, well, she wasn't there for the meeting. And based on a tweet she sent out yesterday morning, it seemed why she wasn't there was because well, she was in Stanley or at least headed there. Yesterday, McGeehan tweeted a photo of her and another woman. In the caption, she says, so how do you finish a whirlwind trip to see your president? Jump into your car, head to Stanley and meet Donald Trump Jr. On Monday, Lieutenant Governor was in Henderson, Nevada for a Trump rally. We know this based on her postings to her Facebook page. But it seems Lieutenant Governor took exception to members of the media who questioned why she would skip a committee meeting in which she said, quote, spending $150 million is no small matter and chose to attend a political rally instead. Today, she tweeted this seven paragraph response post saying, once again, it is necessary for me to clarify some untruths disseminated by the local media and not attending the CFAC meeting on Tuesday had nothing to do with the political rally that she attended, quote, later in the day. She says the picture of her driving had been taken on Monday, not Tuesday. She went on to say her chief of staff couldn't answer media questions about the post and the meeting because he spends most of his time responding to and helping constituents, not responding to media inquiries regarding salacious and misleading allegations. And that may be. However, if you look at the timestamp from the tweet, it's at 1038 AM on Tuesday morning, September 15th. The text clearly says, jump in your car and head to Stanley to meet Donald Trump Jr. Does that not tell your followers that you are indeed driving to Stanley or about to do that? Then there's the email to say that she couldn't attend the meeting and the request to delay the vote. Her email was sent to the committee members Tuesday afternoon at 1247 PM, 13 minutes before that meeting was set to begin. In it, she expressed her concerns about the amount of money and where it was coming from, clarifying today that she only got the information about the governor's proposal Friday morning, right before Governor Little announced it was happening. So we asked for some more clarification from her chief of staff, like why the timestamp showed she posted that picture on Tuesday at 1038 in the morning. And while she may not have been traveling at the time of the meeting, why did she wait until minutes before the meeting at one o'clock to back out and state her concerns? And if her attendance at the meeting had nothing to do with the political rally she did attend later in the day, some three and a half hours away from her home, why wasn't she able to attend? She could have done it online through, you know, a virtual attendance through Zoom or something. Well, we got somewhat of an answer this afternoon from Jordan Waters, Lieutenant, Gov or Lieutenant Governor's Chief of Staff, and then he was able to respond, I guess, to inquiries regarding the salacious and misleading allegations. He said, when a photo is taken and when it is tweeted are not necessarily the same. As previously stated, the photo was taken on Monday. The Lieutenant Governor was unable to attend the CFAC meeting due to personal reasons. No further comment.